completely unsatisfied. It was a complete cover your briefing by the Secret Service. A virtual briefing meant to update lawmakers on the attempted assassination of former President Trump, only leading to more unanswered questions. The briefing, conducted by FBI Director Christopher Wray, reportedly revealing the Secret Service knew about the threat before the shooting. As a suspicious person, they lost sight of him. He had a rangefinder. He had a backpack. The kind of things that would be suspicious to anyone. Lawmakers say the shooter was identified as suspicious an hour beforehand. But Secret Service only learned about the threat 10 minutes before Mr. Trump walked on stage. Yet the agents still let the former president begin his remarks. They wouldn't answer the question about what happened between that suspicious moment and what the rules of engagement are for local law enforcement interacting with the Secret Service. Lawmakers also learning the agent in charge was on the phone with local police about the threat while the shooting took place. We got a timeline and what happened afterwards but nothing about who is in charge of securing that building, nothing in terms of who will be held accountable. Now both sides of the aisle are demanding more transparency and accountability. And despite admitting mistakes were made, Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle is the figure taking the most heat. The director of the Secret Service needs to lose her job. This was appalling. The House will get yet another opportunity to ask Director Cheadle questions during next week's House Oversight Committee hearing. In Washington, Kevin Cork, Fox News.